measures of conflict management okay so what measures have to be taken so first one is establishing common goals okay so if we if at all uh, we have seen before uh, goal conflicts can uh, are seen okay so goal conflicts arises uh, within the individuals okay so in if at all uh, goals are established in such a way that the goals uh, will result in the satisfaction of both the employee and at the same time the management okay so it the common establishment of goals leads to the uh, can be treated as measurement for conflicting management okay organizational conflict means here individual goals and organizational goals should be aligned then at that time so conflicts may not be seen so establishing common goals means both uh, departmental goals individual goals organizational goals all should be aligned with each other okay then goal conflicts cannot be seen next one is changing structural arrangement okay so changing structural arrangement means the change in organizational structure or some part of it can be reduced dysfunctional conflicts okay so likewise uh, 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 co conflicts can be reduced by adopting decentralizing okay decentralization restructuring to remove obvious differentials in status symbols between hierarchical interest groups or else development of cycles of work okay uh, or else uh, with opportunity to employees to complete task and sharing in organizational rewards okay likewise if at all there is a change in the organizational structure okay so all these uh, may be uh, reduce the conflicts in the organization so what are the ways to be followed okay to change the structural arrangement okay so what are those ways means uh, first one is reduction in interdependence okay so the basic uh, reason for intergroup conflict is interdependence so if there is no interdependence if they are independent means uh, each department perform each group will perform their obligations so uh, one group will have no involvement in the other group so definitely there will be no conflicts so if at all uh, if we have an uh, organization structure of uh, reduction in interdependence or else independent group means definitely conflicts can be reduced and coming to another one is reduction shared resources okay so as we see in interdependence okay reduction likewise reduction in shared resources also should not be there okay so uh, when two or more units are required to share resources particularly scarce ones the potential for conflict increases because resources are uh, very less but it should be shared between two groups means definitely conflict arises but whenever there is no concept of shared resources then automatically conflicts also reduce okay so there should be independent resources okay for if there are two groups means they have their own they should have their own independent resources there should not be shared resources okay so likewise for example if we take resources like any raw materials or else manpower okay so if there is a manpower there should not be shared resources because conflict arises to take skilled persons by two groups okay no, not like that if they if they are independent in resources means definitely conflicts will be reduced now coming to exchange of personal personal of conflicting groups may be exchanged for a specified period a way to reduce the and managing the conflicts also so an exchange of people is very similar to role reversal which is aimed at greater understanding between people by forcing each to present and defend the other person okay other position also so that is exchange of personnel so exchange of personnel is nothing but this person will be in other group other group person will be here so if at all this process is fo followed means to some extent conflicts can be reduced because whenever the uh, uh, group a person uh, is uh, uh, 
transfer to group A means definitely he work for group B, not for group A. So likewise, some conflicts can be reduced whenever like job rotation. Okay, we can treat this exchange of personnel. Now coming to another one, creation of special integrators. So creation of special integrators means to resolve conflicts. Okay, organization may create provisions for appointment of special integrators who may manage the interdependence of various groups so that unresolved matters can be solved through them okay so integrators are the are special persons who are uh, created for the provision of uh, to resolve matters in the unsolved problems in the organization okay so um, we can say them as intermediate in uh, in position between two conflicting departments he plays intermediate role between two conflicting departments why because to resolve the problem okay so in that way also conflicts may be reduced and the other one is reference to superior authority okay so reference to superior authority means conflicts may be resolved through the hierarchy system so if resolution cannot be attained by two members okay they may take issue to superiors okay who resolve the conflicts and make a decision S such a decision is usually accepted by organizational members because of the recognized superior authority of high ranking individual they have to listen to superior okay so this is also another measure for conflict okay to reduce the conflict now coming to actions okay so these are also related to this measures only but uh, if at all these actions have taken in an organization means to some extent all uh, we may uh, reduce the conflicts like a problem solving okay so problem solving is nothing but it is a technique that is considered to be the most positive technique for conflict resolution why because it emphasizes attaining of common interest of both conflicting parties means definitely conflict arising means two groups will be involved so not talking about the differences between the parties they have to highlight about the similarities between the parties responsibilities between the parties and okay uh, the common interest of the parties should be there should be uh, presented there then this leads to the uh, this uh, we, we may say that this leads to the mutual problem solving progress okay uh, or else the mutual problem solving process of both the parties so this is a problem solving technique okay it is it is very effective also why because both parties uh, come to uh, a point okay which is right uh, they will not go in depth uh, about who is wrong or who is right but they will share and communicate what is required to solve the problem okay what are what is the common interest of those groups okay so these will be only mentioned there so likewise they are meant there for only problem solving but not uh, about who is right or who is wrong okay so in in that way problem can be resolved okay and another one is avoidance this is another action that can be taken in conflict okay so avoidance is nothing but overcoming the conflict okay overcoming the conflict of its uh, avoidance by parties okay parties to the conflict may either withdraw from the conflict or conceal the incompatibility means they may withdraw both the parties may withdraw the conflict means at the avoidance of the conflict or else conceal the incompatibility means concealing the incompatibility incompatibility means uh, it is another form of con uh, conflict resolution when it is not possible for any party to withdraw no party is withdrawing there but they keep silent like that holding withholding the information that the parties are in conflict because of goal incompatibilities okay that is avoidance one is withdrawing and the other one is concealing but not withdrawing okay and the third one is smoothing so smoothing can be defined as the process of playing down differences that 
exist between individuals or groups while emphasizing common interest so differences are suppressed here and similar similarities are accentuated in smoothening the process okay so finding and emphasizing similarities between the conflicting parties while suppressing the differences okay can eventually lead the parties to realize that they are not far apart first was first believed okay so uh, with a uh, shared view points on an uh, on an uh, issue the ability to work together towards the commonly held goal must be facilitated through smoothing okay and the other one other action is regarding the compromise so compromise is also a well accepted technique for resolving the conflicts so uh, me it, it includes um, here that compromising means third party will be there third party intervention will be there to suppress the conflicting parties okay so third party compromises between the conflicting parties so compromise may be effectively used when the goal object may be divided in some way among the competing parties okay so here uh, one group may yield to the other something of value in exchange for a concession of value okay so both parties then give something up here in where third party is involving means so one party give up and the other party also gives up in that place another value okay so last one is confrontation so confrontation means the various actions enumerated uh, above may not bring resolution okay of conflict between parties if they take very rigid stand okay whenever a very firm a decision is taken by both the parties then uh, we cannot compromise between them so in that situation confrontation can be uh, taken so what does confrontation means the parties are left to confrontation to settle the conflict why because this strategy means it result into win lose situation means one party wins other party lose the situation means the parties concerned may settle their score by applying their strength against each other so here who will be the strengthy person means he will win and the other person will lose so confrontation may be used for organization development and increasing organizational effectiveness so this is about the conflict uh, resolution actions so this is all about the organizational conflict okay